A man wearing a Spanish flag walks along a street ahead of a rally in Barcelona. Credit app photo Santi Palacios Prunity Forces staged a massive display of support for Spanish unity in the streets of Barcelona on Sunday, less than 48 hours after a declaration of independence in Catalonia's parliament that has plunged Spain into its deepest crisis of the modern era. The rally came as a Spanish government spokesman said that the sacked Catalan leader Carles Puigdemont would be welcome to stand in snap elections slated for December. Three weeks ago the anti-independence Catalan civil society platform brought 350,000 people onto the streets of central Barcelona to reject the plans of the now deposed Mr Puigdemont to proclaim an independent republic. Today, Spanish police say 300,000 mass to show their backing for a unified Spain, but organizers put the crowd count at 1.1 million. Revelers and protesters clash after Catalonia declares independence 0122 The march is being supported by Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy's Popular Party, Spain's main opposition socialists and Ciudadanos, a centrist anti-nationalist party whose stronghold is in Catalonia. Mr. Puigdemont on Saturday defied the fact that he was formally dismissed by the Spanish government invoking emergency powers in the constitution, urging the Catalan people to defend the new republic in a televised address. Catalonia key questions The Catalan leader's erstwhile governing coalition has yet to make any decision on whether it will run in regional elections called by Mr. Rajoy, who also used Article 155 powers to dissolve Catalonia's parliament hours after the illegal proclamation. Inigo Mende de Vigo, the government's chief spokesman and education minister, said on Saturday night that the Spanish administration would welcome the participation of Mr Puigdemont in the December 21st ballot. But the deposed Catalan leader has previously said he would not run for a new term as president of the region. Sources from Spain's public prosecutor's office have said that a criminal accusation of rebellion is being prepared against Mr. Puigdemont, meaning a judge will then have to decide whether to have him arrested or summon him for questioning. People hold a giant Catalan senyera a flag as protesters gather ahead of a prunity demonstration credit P-I-E-R-R-E-P-H-I-L-I-P-P -E -E Marcou Afgeti images The Belgian government has invited Mr Puigdemont to ask for asylum in Belgium, opening the door to the deposed Catalan leader to escape from probable criminal proceedings stemming from Catalonia's illegal declaration of independence. Theo Franken, Belgium's Secretary of State for Asylum and Migration, said Catalans who feel politically threatened can apply for asylum in Belgium. This includes the Minister President Puigdemont. It's completely legal. Mr Franken, a member of the new Flemish Alliance Nationalist Party, suggested that such a request from Mr Puigdemont was a possibility amid speculation in Spain that the erstwhile Catalan leader could be accused of rebellion, a crime which carries a possible jail sentence of 30 years. At this time there is no application, but everything is evolving quickly. We will see what happens in the coming days and hours, he told the Belgian broadcaster VRT before posting a link to the story on his Twitter feed. In what could become an unofficial celebration of the Declaration of Independence, Mr Puigdemont's local football club, FC Girona, is playing Real Madrid on Sunday. Profile Carles Puigdemont because of the club's traditional image of the team representing Spanish heartlands pitted against the peripheral challenge from arch-rival Barcelona. Real Madrid took extra security precautions regarding its itinerary on Sunday, such as not using the officially emblazoned team coach. 3.17 p.m. Spain's foreign minister has said that deposed Catalan leader Carles Puigdemont would be eligible to run in the regional election called by the central government on December 21, provided he hasn't been imprisoned by then, James Badcock writes. Foreign Minister Alfonso Dasis told the Associated Press that Mr Puigdemont's pro-independence party could theoretically put him up as a candidate if he is not in jail at that time. Mr Puigdemont could face criminal charges for his role in the separatist movement that culminated in the Catalan parliament declaring an independent republic on Friday. 1.07 p.m. Catalans against the region's unlawful declaration of independence from Spain thronged under a sea of red and yellow Spanish and Catalan flags in the center of Barcelona on Sunday, with many singing Viva España and shouting prison for Puigdemont, the deposed leader of the region, James Badcock reports. Barcelona's police calculated the number of demonstrators at 300,000, but Catalan Civil Society, the association organizing the event, said that 1.1 million people had filled the city's Gracia Avenue and surrounding streets. In a Real Madrid shirt and draped in a large Spanish flag, Alberto Villena refuted Friday's declaration of independence in Catalonia. 
This is Spain, and so it will stay, said the pensioner who moved to Barcelona half a century ago to help build Catalonia. I've got children born here and grandchildren and we're all Spaniards. These politicians have been deceiving the foreigners saying Catalonia is independent. We are more Spanish than ever here today. Antonia Padilla Vargas, a 45-year-old Barcelona native, struggled to contain her emotion and outrage at what she called Catalan leaders' disgusting campaign to split Spain. They say if you don't want independence, you are a bad Catalan. I am Catalan, and just as Catalan as they are. But I don't recognize the Catalan Republic. I am in favor of unity and Catalonia as a part of Spain. We are stronger together, not separated, she said wrapped in both the Spanish and Catalan flags. With a Spanish flag discreetly tied around his neck, the 44-year-old Mr. Vasquez, who was born in Galicia, said that seeking independence is a legitimate policy, but should not be pursued based on deception and completely ignoring half of the population. 1248 p.m. The first major opinion poll published since the snap election was announced by by Mr. Rajoy shows that pro-independence parties are in danger of losing the slender majority they had in Parliament, writes James Badcock in Barcelona. Based on polling last week up to the day before independence was declared, the Sigma Dos poll published on Sunday by the newspaper El Mundo predicts a combined vote for Mr. Puigdemont's PDCAP party, the Catalan Republican left and the far left cup of just 42.5%, which would see them fall short of a majority in the chamber. 1 2 4 7 p.m. Tens of thousands of demonstrators, many of them carrying Spanish and official Senyera Catalan flags, have gathered on a central Barcelona boulevard in a call for Spain's unity. The atmosphere was festive, as many cheered politicians and central government officials who joined the march. Some chanted Puigdemont, to jail referring to the ousted regional leader who has been fired along with his cabinet by the Spanish government after an independence declaration Friday. Demonstrators are chanting now yes, we are going to vote and applauding every time a national police helicopter flies over the crowd. This is our police they chanted. 1 2 4 7 p.m. Granting Catalan leader Carles Puigdemont political asylum in Belgium would be not unrealistic if he asks for it, the Belgian migration minister said, underlining his country's position as a contrarian voice in the Spanish standoff. The Madrid government sacked the Catalan leader and dismissed the region's parliament on Friday, hours after it declared itself an independent nation. Spain's constitutional court has also started a review of Catalonia's independence vote for prosecutors to decide if it constituted rebellion. While there was no indication Mr. Puigdemont was hoping to come to Belgium, the country is one of few members of the European Union where EU citizens can ask for political asylum. It is not unrealistic if you look at the situation, Belgium's migration minister, Theo Franken, told Belgian broadcaster VTM. They are already talking about a prison sentence, Mr. Franken, a member of Flemish Nationalist Party NVA, said. The question is to what extent he would get a fair trial. It would be difficult for Spain to extradite Mr. Puigdemont in such a case, he said. 1247 PMA spokesperson from Spanish central government has said that Carles Puigdemont may be able to run in the December election. I'm quite sure that if Puigdemont takes part in these elections, he can exercise this democratic opposition, Inigo Mende de Vigo said, as quoted by Reuters.